As Tolkien famously wrote, not all those who wander are lost, but if you are lost, you will want to have one of these. Hello everybody. Today I have a tested gear review of the True Nord Compass. Now, I've been a fan of compasses since I was a little kid. There's something magical about the way that they always point in the same direction, pulled by the Earth's invisible magnetic field. Uh, that has reliably gotten me out of trouble more than once in my life. Uh, after all, if you're going to spend much time outdoors, you should probably invest in at least one good quality compass. This particular compass is an excellent example of a well-made basic compass. This compass was manufactured by the True Nord Compass Company in Brainerd, Minnesota, and I've owned it for several years now. They offer several different models, but all are generally based around this model here. This is their pocket model. Uh, it's just over an inch in diameter and just under half an inch thick. The case is solid brass. The dial glows very well in the dark. It has a jewel bearing movement and a Lexan lens. Unlike many compasses, it is not liquid filled, but it does have a lifetime warranty and the folks at True Nord can compensate your compass so that it will point exactly north wherever you live. Now, you might be a little confused about that last statement. Don't all compasses point north? Well, yes and no. Most people may know that the magnetic North Pole is not the same as the geographic North Pole. But in addition to that, sometimes the magnetic lines of force might point in a slightly different direction on different parts of the globe. What that means is that in the lower 48 United States, for example, the difference between magnetic north and true north can be off as much as 15 to 20 degrees, depending on your location. That can make a difference in how effectively you can navigate using a compass. Your compass will always point to where the magnetic field tells it that north is, but that may vary based on your location on the globe. Now, I happen to live in a region that has a declination of less than five degrees, so I have the folks at True Nord make my compass with no compensation. And that's one of the neat factors of ordering from this company is that you can customize your compass. In addition to compensating for your local declination, you can order a compass that clips to your jacket or can attach to a key ring or can even be worn like a watch. Some of you may think it's odd that the compass is not liquid-filled. Liquid-filled compasses don't tend to have the rapid oscillations that non-liquid compasses do. But if a liquid compass develops a bubble in it, then it can often harm the function of the compass. I've come to prefer this one because I know I can trust it. In fact, I once got turned around while hiking in the Texas Hill Country. It got dark, I lost my trail, it was overcast, so I couldn't navigate by the North Star. Of course, I had no cell signal. I had marked my vehicle on my GPS, but when I took it out to have it guide me back, the map arrow just kept rotating in a circle. Fortunately, I had this compass in my pocket. I knew the highway was to my east, so I headed that way, and when I made it to the highway, I was delighted to find that I was less than 100 yards from my truck. This little thing saved me from spending a very cold night in the hills with a very worried family back home. So here's my review. This is a fantastic little compass. It is manufactured very well. It works very well, and it takes up very little space in a pocket or backpack. You're not going to be able to use it as effectively in high-precision orienteering, but for a general finding your way back from where you started compass, this little thing will do the trick quite well. Thanks for watching.